what up Virgos? let's just tap into your energy see what's going to be coming up for you i already shuffled for this and you already know what it is so let's just begin what's coming up for virgo's energy or what's coming in for virgo energy we have spiritual love lily could be significant um flowers could be significant spring could be significant as well we have financial pinch and then wealth, Virgo. So there is a transformation happening. If you've been experiencing um, financial pinches or financial losses in any way here, I feel like there's a new wave coming in. There's a new energy coming in for you, Virgo, in the finance department here. And then we have a spiritual love. If you've been perpetually single or <laughs> not had or experienced spiritual spiritual love recently i feel like it is coming in for you or you could already be in contact with this person tell me about the spiritual love here for virgo we have you will receive a gift i feel like somebody's not going to come empty-handed here virgo somebody's going to come into your energy and bring something tangible here um, at the bottom of the deck, we have new creative ideas, new adventure, a fresh start here, Virgo. So this is good energy. We have seek out information that will help you with the vine, um, Virgo. Okay, let's see here. So we have uh, love and finances coming out for Virgo. Optimism and choice. I feel like Virgo, you're gonna your choices are gonna start to go up. Okay, you're gonna be very excited about the choices that are gonna come into your life. Um, due to this wealth and this new person coming in. What's this energy for Virgo? Financial pinch and wealth. I'm getting that something may not be like, um, it may not be like the money we have now. Like this could be bonds. All right. This could be, um, stocks it could be bitcoins it could be like a different type of uh, financial currency because we don't have coins that look like that okay and i'm getting there's something significant about money that doesn't look like money um Virgo. or you may have money but you don't look like you have money something here um may need to keep this under wraps yeah we have revenge in the reverse it's giving you reap what you sow here. What's the financial pinch and wealth energy for Virgo? Revenge in the reverse. You may not know somebody wants to take revenge on you, Virgo. Somebody could be trying to like hit your finances to get revenge on you. Yeah, fulfillment in the reverse. So you don't get fulfillment, generosity in the reverse. Yeah, something wants you to be in lack. They don't want to give it to you. They don't want you to have something. But then we have harmony harmony i'm getting that with the harmony card somebody wants to like throw off your peace throw off your happiness here but you will still have harmony virgo it's like something wanted to put you in a financial tense publicity um you could get this harmony through um the public eye the community um social media in some type of way but i have this feeling that somebody was like trying to come against you here virgo Mm -hmm. in your inspiration in your intuition your mind here they're trying to mess with you but with the harmony card and wealth i do feel like yeah look authority there's somebody else in charge of that flattery optimism romance in the reverse mm. let's get this energy spiritual love here you will be receiving a gift in spiritual love like stuff is going to start to flock to you virgo numbers will in increase your flock your squad will increase the people you have around you will increase i just heard i got 99 problems with a bitch ain't one i also heard the more money we come around the more problems something the more money we come in more problems and meetings. I don't know what that is. I can't get the words, sir. Uh, spiritual love here for Virgo. You'll be receiving a gift. Spiritual love. Somebody may come with a box. Ooh, 
Okay, we have idealism. Okay, we have egotism. And then we have extremisms. Okay, coming up with the three isms of the day, right? <laughs> um, ism, 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 ism. Somebody could be um, really into the meanings of words here. Okay. Um, but anyways, there is somebody here who's going to be coming in who's going to be like overly ideal. Okay. This person, you may be feeling like this is ego. This person may be moving in ego. Um, they may be coming in doing something extreme here. It's giving um, <laughs> love bombing. It's giving you're going to eat the cake anime. I just heard eat the cake anime. Uh, we all know that ain't nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> I straight up heard eat the cake anime um but uh, extra like that somebody may do like I don't know I'm not, I'm not gonna get into that my mind gets carried away yeah we have influence intuition escape drama hmm I feel like somebody's going to do something to avoid the public eye here. Bluff. It's like somebody is going to, it's the energy of somebody trying to get you to do something so extreme here to go with their idealism, to go with their ego, to stroke their ego here. They may be like threatening you or trying to get you to do something here, Virgo, and then it's like, they did it so much as like I don't even care no more. It's like getting I just heard Stockholm syndrome. What the fuck? Okay. We're getting carried away. Let's get into tarot. Um as I split the deck, we got the six of wands and the ace of coins. Virgo, I do see a definite victory coming in here with your finances. Okay. Somebody really was trying to get revenge here. I feel it's like a secret revenge in the reverse. What's the revenge energy here? Tell me about the revenge energy for Virgo's finances. Somebody really wanted to put you in like, um, I just heard my world got turned, switched upside down. So if you are in a good place financially, somebody wanted that upside down. Um, tell me about the revenge energy in the reverse. With the page of swords and the revenge being in the reverse, I feel like it was hidden from view here, Virgo. Somebody may be secretly watching you. We have the King of Wands and the Ten of Coins. Revenge in the reverse. We have the Five of Wands and the Tower. What's the King of Wands energy? Somebody was looking at your finances here. Somebody saw that you were... Um, that you had something. Ace of Cups. Okay, this could have been a lover here. Queen of Cups in the reverse. The Hang Dragon. Who's the king? Who's the king? Um, king of Wands to Virgo. The Tower, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Somebody you had a tower with. This came around for a new beginning. It's giving you a lot of communication about having something tangible, Virgo. Doing something tangible. Uh, what they desire, what they want from you. Uh, Page of Pentacles or an offer, a message here. This person who secretly wants revenge of you was connected to a masculine here. We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody who is like very needy, emotionally abusive, clingy, dependent. Um, overly sensitive, all in their feelings here. Uh, real dramatic energy for this feminine. Tell me about what the feminine is doing with the hang dragon. Um, what's the feminine doing here? I'm not going to dig too deep into this. Seven of coins and the five of swords. This is this is the energy that's um, putting in very a lot of work here, a lot of hard work in um, bringing conflict to you, Virgo. Five of Swords, this is the energy that's working against you. Ten of Swords, I feel like they're trying to bring an ending to a relationship you have with their masculine here. Nine of Coins and the Three of Cups. Y'all, you're single, but you still mingle with this person. 
temperance and the knight of coins it's, she knows or somebody knows it's just a matter of time before this turns sexual here six of coins and the seven of wands Someone's trying to block this here because they know they're going to be left out in the cold. It's going to be a wrap for them because they really don't have what this person wants. Okay, so what are they doing with the five of swords here? This person is putting in spell work, divination. They're doing something here against your finances, Virgo. Yeah, six of coins. This is the person coming in with the conflict here, bringing conflict towards you, sending conflict towards you. King of Cups. They're also messing with a King of Cups here. Um, this could be somebody that they're married to. They, they get stuff in the yeah, Five of Wands. And this is your competition. Somebody's in competition with you over a masculine here. And this person is trying to mess with your finances. They don't want you to have fulfillment, Virgo. This person doesn't want the, the generosity of love to be on you or somebody to give you some type of money here. But you're, you're going to end up with harmony anyways. Tell me about the fulfillment in the reverse, the generosity in the reverse here. Fulfillment in the reverse. We have the Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Coins, the Temperance. Yeah, this is that energy. Okay, so basically with the Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups, there's somebody here who has been separated or um, detached in some type of way here. With the Five of Cups, this person has gone through a breakup. They've gone through grief, some type of loss. So that's why they're coming in with this conflict here um, to try to slow up your finances here, Virgo. Okay, so now we're going to tap into the Harmony Energy. Tell me about the harmony energy for Virgo's finances. Okay, I feel like with the Nine of Cups energy, Virgo, this harmony is going to give you emotional stability here. Nine of Wands. Virgo, if you are really trying to um, be resilient with your finances, if you are really feeling wounded, feeling like you had to set up a lot of boundaries financially, not get yourself things, um, or felt like there was a lot of boundaries in your finances here. With the Nine of Cups, I see that all turning around. Paired with the Harmony card, I feel like you will be emotionally satisfied with the amount of money that you are about to receive, with the amount of money that you will be, I heard, procreating. I do feel like there is something that's going to come in where you are going to be feeling satisfied again. Yeah. We have the Queen of Coins and the Sun card here. Tell me about the harmony energy. <clears throat> the eight of coins. Okay, so the Empress at the bottom, Virgo. With the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Coins, I feel like these people are going to start to be satisfied with your work or you're going to be satisfied with something. You're going to master something here, Virgo. You're going to become very dil diligent at something here because it's giving you emotional stability or there is emotional stability coming in for you that will help you work, um, succeed, master, uh, be diligent. Um, there's something about your energy here, your energy levels, your mental state could be a affected by your energy levels and that could be affecting your work level here work um ethic i heard somebody could be fucking with your crown chakra your mind your um, energy levels even to try to get with to try to mess with something that you could be mastering here Bert. empress and the ten of wands so i do feel like it is going to be hard work here to transform something here for you, Virgo. We have the Empress, the Ten of Wands representing the hard work, the responsibility, the sacrifices you had to make here. With the Five of Coins during this lack energy here, Three of Coins, this could have been during a heartbreak. Other things could have been compiling in your life at the time where this was happening here, but there's a change coming. Wheel of Fortune, there's a transformation happening, Virgo. Six of Coins here, Six of Swords here, you're going to be 
doing some type of transition and future justice energy here for you, Virgo. About it turning successful here. So with the high priestess, you may have to keep your um, justice, whatever balance comes in for you, whatever karma comes in for you. Single Virgo, four of coins, hold back, save here. Nine of wands and queen of coins, definitely make boundaries with your finances. Virgo, the sun card, the ten of swords and the two of cups. I feel like this will happen um, once somebody sees something or somebody is going to successfully separate from this feminine. Yeah. Okay. So somebody is going to be separating, separating themselves. You could be needing to do court cleansing or cleanse your energy here, Virgo, but... I do see someone um, being separated from you, okay? Something being separated from you. So if somebody was working against you, I feel like it's not uh, not going to be for long here, Virgo. Um, or you're about to have harmony in those areas because somebody was doing something for you, to you. So your justice is to get it back tenfold. What's this energy here for Virgo? Spiritual love. Spiritual love here for Virgo. You will be receiving a gift in spiritual love. Music box could be significant. A jewelry box could be significant. You have the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the, six, and the Three of Swords here. The Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. There's definitely some type of ending here. I need him here and broken hearted girl. I don't want to be broken hearted girl. No, 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 no broken hearted girl. Now I'm in a place I thought I'd never be. Now in a place it's all about you and me. Virgo, you, I feel like um you're going to go from broken hearted to being in some type of spiritual love here. Left out in the cold, depressed, three of swords, broken up with, pain, grievances here. Seven of Wands guarded against having a new beginning. Two of Swords, but here's that decision to move forward here, Virgo. Will you separate from somebody? Will you go into a new relationship? There's a, there's a um, a decision needs to be made here. There's a, I feel like there's going to be multiple lovers in your energy, Virgo, and there's going to be a decision that needs to be made. I feel like you'll know the the spiritual love um, when you see it. You'll know. You'll know which one is the real spiritual love. You'll know which one is sent from God here. The high priest is in the chariot. I can't make this up. You'll know which one to move forward on, Virgo. Uh, tell me about this spiritual love and the gift energy here. We have the wheel of fortune and the seven of swords. Something's changing secretly, strategically here. The Wheel of Fortune. It was some type of faded betrayal as well, Virgo. I feel like there was an ending. There was depression. There was you being isolated alone. There was grief. There was loss. There was pain. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords, now there's a change happening to um, this energy here. Secret change here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords. The Strength card. Yeah, I did feel like this was like to add character here, Virgo. I feel like it helps you have a lot of strength. You had to have a lot of strength to get through this. Eight of Swords. Knight of Swords. This is all head energy. What is this energy? Two of Swords, a full card, then, oh, this is someone else here. Yeah, there was something, okay. Virgo, okay, so I feel like there's going to be a choice uh, in your energy here. There is someone who you had a nasty relationship with. Um, 
uh, with the five of coins, it ended up with some type of breakup, separation, depression, lack energy, and the heartbreak. Okay, somebody could have broken up with you, ghosted you here, or you could have done this to this person. And now there's a change. This person is coming to change. But with the seven of swords and the strength card, I feel like they have secrets that they're holding back from you, Virgo. About what they're trapped in. They may be trapped something in somewhere. They may be trapped in something. There's something going on here with the Eight of Swords. But with the Two of Swords, the Fool card, and the Seven of Wands here, Virgo, somebody is coming in. This is the decision you have to make to start over or to block this person out to keep up your guard against this person. The King of Coins, the High Priestess, the Nine of Wands. Somebody's keeping something secret. That they're sick. Judgment. Okay. So you have a decision, Virgo. There's spiritual love coming in for you. Somebody's going to be coming in with the gifts. Um, and there is somebody else in your energy here. There's two people, two or more people here. Two of coins and the four of coins. Yeah, there's some type of juggling happening. Eight of wands. The temperance. I feel like here, Virgo, somebody is um, trying to hold back communication here trying to temper communication or uh, slow down or you need to be slow with this person nine of cups i feel like virgo five of wands five of cups the world card there could be somebody in your energy that was wanting you to juggle hold back in slow down something here for you Virgo okay so there could be a past person while somebody else is coming in your energy um telling you everything that you want to hear uh, talking to your ego stroking your ego and doing extreme things like love bombing getting you things getting you gifts throwing things in your face ace of cups there's the new love here who is this energy here with the ace of cups the Three of Cups, the Nine of Coins, to the Ten of Coins here, Virgo. This is, this is, they're saying it's the last cup here, Virgo. Because the Nine of Coins is a single woman or a single person without love here. And then we have the Ten of Coins. There's that person that adds the last coin to the bunch here. Um, I just heard Dragon Balls. Um, Dragon Ball Z Balls. Um... I don't, I don't remember what they were called. I, I feel like there was 10 or more of them to 12, maybe. They were balls that had numbers in it, number of stars in it. And when you got all the stars together, Virgo, you were able to make a wish. There was something that was granted to you here. Um, Virgo, I feel like there is the energy of yeah, new love coming in and somebody coming in to distract you from it. All right. Um... You could be hanging out with this person. It could lead to marriage. It could lead to happy home situation. It could lead to something long term here with the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands, the Devil, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Swords energy. I feel like somebody is waiting here. Okay, somebody could be at a distance and a real toxic energy here. Real obsessed with you. Once you separate from uh, Eight of Swords, something that they were trying to keep you stuck in, trapped in. This is the trap here. Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands, the High Priestess, the King of Wands. Hmm. It's almost like somebody knew that you were going to cut them off, Virgo. Knew that they stood no chance here, but they still had to try. This is some weird energy. Queen of Wands and Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody ends it with somebody here. Tell somebody about this. This betrayal. It 
it's like it's backfiring something's backfiring on someone someone thinks they can hold you up here uh fuck with your finances fuck with your love here virgo but i feel like it's just going to backfire on them i feel like this is going to um do nothing but come back and bite somebody in the ass Okay, so this is what I got here for you, Virgo. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next to the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. There's some about to be, there's about to be some uh, major money changes here. And there is going to be a new love, new energy coming into you. And a past energy trying to hold you back from this. What will you choose, Virgo? Where will you go? <laughs> was coming in for you comment down below tell me all about it um i love you guys peace